Hello, it's Sarah. I have my book box. I finished it. I know some of you may be thinking, well, why didn't you show us how you did it? And I don't know. I just got started and, you know, I'll go through the process with you though. Um, and then I'll make, I'll do a different type of a clay video. Uh, but this is it. So this is a book box. Okay. So what I mean is it's like a, a box. It has a magnetic closure and I got this at Michael's. Let me see if I can show you a better perspective. So I kept the spine the way it was. It says dream and it was just black and gold. And I like that because then I could kind of tie my cover into it. So see like the pages, the fake pages. So it's kind of like you could hide treasures in here. Um, I was inspired to do this book by this, uh, I shared this in my haul, this little um, stamp set. It doesn't, I don't think it had a name, but it's a recollection stamp set. And I just, I was, I like this stained glass bird, right? And I showed that I did it on, I think, I don't think they're here, I put them away, but I had embossed and colored them with my gel pens. And that was, oh, here it is. So I shared this on my last video. So that was cool, right? So of course I thought, well, let me stamp it into clay and see how that goes. So let me lay this down and show you what I did. Um, the first thing I did was, and I think I showed you this in a previous video too, I gessoed the front and back, because I did the back too, and painted it gold. And I used this gold. This is the Lemire Jacquard by Jacquard uh, metallic gold paint. Just because it was, I have it. I have several different golds. Um, when, when that was dry, I just glue then, these are polymer clay tiles, some of them like this is actually a, a jewelry finding or piece of jewelry that I kind of glued to a, a piece of clay underneath, like a tile that I'd already baked because it, it had the, um, what are they called, like the bales were under there, so that's why it's a little raised. What else do I have? I put this, um, this is a Tim Holtz keyhole put that on there and I put a key so I wasn't crazy about how the key turned out but I had the whole thing glued and then when I went to glue the key it wasn't sitting how I liked it so I had to kind of prop it up with these pieces of tile and I mean it's it's good I'm pretty happy with it um, I loved using the micro beads as grout so if you look you'll see I think there's a little here let me get the whole thing in the shot here Sarah hold on there's micro beads here 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 everywhere I could I, I pretty much tried to put them down here though I put this is like a piece of um, rhinestone chain that I have in black and I put that on the back too I put a big piece here and a big piece here so I tied them in this is much different than this obviously but I'll, I'll tell you what I did so most of the focal tiles are from that um, stamp set one two three four so these are the big main kind of image um, tiles then there's hope and blessings I think those are the only two words that I used from that and the rest I pulled from my stash. They were, I really only, I didn't make very many tiles for this at all. This was mostly from my stash. Um, the wings I made, because I knew I wanted to use them. Those are just Tim Holtz wings. I made the bird, the dove, and the cross. That was it. And then the ones from that stamp set. And the rest were just from my stash. And here I used like a little, this is a memento piece of metal. Um, I had already done all this gold leafing pieces. Um, yeah, so I didn't have to make a lot of tiles. Most of the tiles were already made in my stash. And I just pulled what I thought would go with it. I used mica powders to decorate these. One, two, three, four, five. So this whole... I mean, it's still really cool. You can see the, the design. It's just not as bright. And I varnished it, too. I put a coat of um, what did I use? gloss, this gloss exterior interior varnish. Just so, like, I don't know, maybe it would hold some of the color. 
So it did turn out cool. Um, what else did I want to tell you about that? So yeah, so if you're trying to attach a key, it's better to embed it in the clay, but I was using it to kind of go around this arch. And it just, you know, it is what it is. It's what it is. So yeah, so that's the front. And then when I went to do the back, oh, I obviously I did some of my applique on a few of them. I did it around the, um, the cross and the words, um, blessings and hope. I did the applique. So that was it. I add, Look, I added micro beads to the fishy's heart. So then on this side, I think, let's see, I made this tile and this tile. These two were the only two that I made. The rest of them I had in my stash. Even this one I had, I had to finagle it a little bit. This is actually an art tile, so this is chipboard. Um, let's see, yeah. Everything else, this beauty was made. And what I liked about them, see this is like a Buddha. He was made and this big butterfly and this big flower, they took up a lot of space. So I didn't have as much work to do. Like this one has a, I love the smaller tiles and actually I think like, see this big one and this big one, it's nice to have a bigger couple big ones in there to fill up some space. But it, I also do like the look of a lot of little tiles. So I'm kind of debating if I just want to go back because I am running out of stash. It's, I mean, it happens. I've obviously made quite a lot now um, with the tiles that I have and I'm starting to notice that I don't have as many go-to tiles as I once did. So um, this one I think I made in Lori's class. That's how old this is. It's, it's a... Um, transfer I guess they call it a polymer clay transfer and I just put I, I think this is a um, memento frame I don't even remember how I made it it was like a while ago this these charms are I think these are memento too the um, the moon and the sun are just embedded in the clay I stamped the clay first to get that design and then I just embedded and then baked them um, so yeah, and then the microbeads. I am loving the microbeads. Thank you so much, Patty Tolley, for, for giving me that. But I had them and I've been dying to use them. So it just worked out perfect. And I'll show you a cool, before we run out of time, all I did was take a piece of a straw and I used this little bowl. I put the microbeads in here. First I used my um, static remover thing that you use for embossing. Put the microbeads in here, and then you pinch the end of the straw, and you can pick them up, and then you put your um, glossy accents down, and then I just go like this, and like kind of just deliver them to the to that space, and it really worked well. Yeah, you get a few here and there, but then like when you're done, you just kind of tap it back into your um, bowl, and it worked out really well. So I like it. I'm gonna try and get a shot like standing up because we're running out of time but look I mean it looks like I mean it real. I think it matches these um are gold leafed these and so they really bring out the gold like I love them I try to put I try to keep it like see how I do that a couple of painted ones put them like there's three painted ones I try to move things around the design so that it it works well together you know so the back just has a lot less tiles, but it's still filled it. Um, so yeah, and don't forget to use your um, <clears throat> art tiles too. So that's it, that's my book. Um, I love it. Don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I might have to hide stuff in there. And then the inside is all done. So you don't have to do anything to the inside. So that really, was cool and it's really well made book because I did find some paper mache ones at AC Moore and they were crumb they were like wonky so all right you guys thanks for watching